Hello and welcome to today's English lesson. My name is Stuart. In today's lesson, we're looking at words and vocabulary related to the topic of investing money. Let's go to the intro. Now, as I said, today's topic is related to investing money and all of these words and expressions are related to this topic. Now, obviously, the objective of this lesson is to build your vocabulary, enhance your knowledge of uh, certain uh, topics in English, so that uh, if you have to speak or write about this in the future in an exam or something like that, you'll be able to use these words correctly and also pronounce them correctly, which is also important as well. So investing money. Now, everybody likes to make money and uh, you want to invest your money. You try to make extra money, become rich maybe if you have a good investment. So let's have a look at these words related to the topic. Now, the first words are obviously related to the key word, which is uh, investing. Uh, so you invest in something. If you invest in something, you become an investor. Uh, and what you do is you make an investment. OK, so you invest, you are an investor and you make an investment in something. OK, as well, you invest in or you make an investment in something as well. The object of investing is that you want to make your money grow. You're looking for growth. If you have $10,000 to invest, you want to try to grow that money, to increase that money. So you're looking for growth. You want a return on that money. Another expression we use when we talk about investing. You want a return. You look for a return. Perhaps you get a good rate of interest on uh, some money that you have in the bank. OK, you get a good rate of interest. Maybe if you invest in a company, you buy shares, you get a dividend. And all of these things are known as earnings, your earnings from your investment. Now, how do we invest our money? What are some of the options that we have when it comes to investing money? Well, here are some. Obviously, there are more, but these are some of the more common ones, at least that I'm familiar with. So, for example, you can invest your money in property. You can buy a property to invest. Maybe you buy to rent the property to another person. So you live off the, the rent that somebody pays you. Perhaps you buy and sell property uh, quite frequently in order to make a profit. OK, so people invest their money in property. Uh, equity, you can take equity in a company, in a private company, perhaps a small company that is just beginning a startup. Perhaps you can take equity. You can invest your money for a percentage of the company. You can take equity in a company. Perhaps you uh, buy shares or stocks in a publicly listed company, a company that is on the stock market or the share market. One of the big companies, for example, Apple or Google or Facebook, all of these companies are publicly traded companies and you can quite easily buy shares or stocks. Maybe you want to uh, invest in bonds, government bonds, corporate bonds. OK, the government is looking to uh, get money. So they issue bonds with a fixed rate of interest over a period of time. So you invest your money in government bonds or, as I said, corporate bonds. OK, perhaps you uh, uh, take a bit more risk and you invest in futures where you buy or sell an asset based on a future price. Or maybe a pension plan, quite simply. OK, a pension plan. Maybe you save your money today and invest in a plan for the future when you retire to help you with your retirement, your financial needs when you retire. OK, in 10, 20, 30, 40 years, however long you have before you retire, you can invest in a pension plan. 
To invest money, you might need a financial planner or you might need a financial advisor, somebody who helps you invest your money. They provide you with options uh, to invest your money and they take a commission, obviously, but they help you with the difficult task of investing money because let's be honest, it's not easy to invest in different products. There's risk involved as we will see in a minute. But when we invest money, we can pour money into uh, a project or uh, an investment vehicle. We can plow money into it. We can pump money into something and we can sink money into a project as well. We want to put our capital to work. We want to try to grow our money. As we saw before, to grow our money. We're looking for growth. We saw those two words there. Grow, growth, okay? We take a risk or we take risks. Investing money is risky. If you're lucky, if you're lucky with your investments, you can strike it rich. You can make it rich, you can strike it rich when you become rich from your investments. Or the opposite is that your investment can take a hit. If you put your money uh, into a company and the company goes bankrupt, you take a hit and the losses can pile up. You lose more and more money. The losses pile up because of the risk involved, okay, when you invest money. But what we're looking for is a capital gain. We're trying to get a capital gain. We're trying to make a profit on our investment. Or if we're not lucky, if we uh, take a hit, we have a capital loss. So capital gain, capital loss. So all of these words are related to investing money. Now, thank you very much for watching the lesson today. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section below. Remember to share the video on Facebook, uh, Twitter, Google+, whichever social media platform you use. Try to share it with your friends. I'll see you in the next video English lesson. Have a good day. Bye.